All right, um, just another tip. I, well, I'm gonna call it a tip. Something I ran into on this thing: um, the visual voicemail. Um, a lot of people say online it doesn't work or you can't set it up, which is true out the box. Um, to get around that, this is what I had to do. I saw something online and I figured out why, and it, it works. Um, the thing is. If you have the old, uh, if you have the old system to where voicemails are, was it four digit uh, passwords? Um, you have to go on. Yep, this is for AT and T. I don't know about any other carrier, but this is an unlocked uh, Galaxy Note Ultra. Well, Galaxy Note Twenty. Yeah, the name is long, but yeah. But um, pretty much, um, what you have to do is go online. Go online. I searched AT and T, saying unlock. Was it reset visual voicemail password on AT and T's website? And what you do is click. You click the link, and they tell you to log in with your account information online. You log in, and for mine, I think they'll probably do it for everybody. For mine, they sent me the pass my password, which is uh, which should be the last seven digits of your uh cell phone number of course, which enables the Samsung app to be able to log in after you reset the password, after you reset the password. Um, if you're having trouble with it and it doesn't work, do that, get your visual voicemail password reset, and you will be able to get visual voicemail through the default Samsung app, or I, think, I guess it's belong to Samsung. And yeah, I haven't set it up yet, obviously. I mean, I got in. So, so pretty much it's set up. It's, it's going to be set up in a few minutes. I just got to get all the permission stuff straight. It'll be ready to go, but just a little tidbit, tidbit of advice. Um, because I finally took the time to do it because I just like, eh, whatever. Because my LG, which I'm recording on, um, AT and T phone. It was kind of easy. Like it did it on zone, so no issues there. But being an unlocked phone, uh, you gotta do things a little bit manually. So that you know, I got my functionality. So just want to share with everybody. So in case you got to unlock, you get unlocked one of these. Um, pretty much you just uh get your voicemail reset. And they'll reset it for you. And it's everything's automated and pretty much it works well, it works just fine. Um I'ma call myself and leave a voicemail, but I think everything is hunky door and hey, if you get if you pay for a slab like this, you might as well you know, get the functionality out of it. So just wanted to tell you guys that hopefully uh this helps somebody out because uh uh me and body me at first, but I got bored and I took like 15 minutes and figured it out. So apparently it's like a big problem. I don't know why, but oh well, it's solved now. So for T-Mobile and all the other people, I guess it might be the same thing. I'm sure it may be. If AT&T does it, yeah, it got to be for the other people. So oh well, all right, I'm out.